Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. We've got a really exciting unboxing for you today. It's the Acer Iconia Tab A700. This is the first high resolution Android tablet to come to market. Asus is working on one, Samsung's probably working on one, and everyone else, but Acer has beat everyone to the punch with the A700. Let me give you a little bit of background. Android tablets historically have had a resolution of about 1024 by 768, or more commonly and more recently, 1280 by 800. The Iconia Tab A700 goes beyond even 1080p, which would be 1920 by 800, and it goes all the way to 1920 by 1200. These 24 inch monitors behind me have a 1920 by 1200 resolution, which is pretty high res. So, to put that on a 10 inch tablet, it's going to be really impressive. You're going to get super crisp text and graphics. Not nearly as good as the iPad's Retina display, uh, which goes all the way to about 2400 by, I think it's 1600 or 1500 or so, but still quite impressive for an Android tablet. We've also got a Tegra 3 in here, quad core, and one gig of RAM, and of course it's running Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0. No honeycomb here, so this should be an awesome, awesome Android tablet, perhaps the best yet. So let's get to the unboxing of the A700. Okay, and here it is. Let's look at the box. It says full HD, although it should say greater than HD because 1920 by 1200 is really high res. Uh, again, not as high res as the Retina display on the iPad 3, but this is leaps and bounds beyond anything available for Android right now. Let's turn it over and look at some of the specs over here. So we've got Android, the NVIDIA Tegra 3 CPU uh, running at, I believe it's 1.3 gigahertz. Have to check on that. Uh, we've also got 32 gigs of memory, which is, which is great. Uh, and a gig of RAM, there's that WUXGA, if you're trying to be technical, 10.1 inch LCD panel, 5 megapixel camera on the back, 1 megapixel on the front, GPS, Bluetooth 2.1, and so on and fo so forth, 9800 milliamp hour battery, so this should have pretty good battery life. So let's bust open this case here, this plastic. Here we are, and also interesting to note, it's got a Netflix logo, which might mean uh, that this can do 1080p Netflix, which would be super cool. Usually it's 720p if you're using a Netflix app on, say, a honeycomb or other ice cream sandwich tab. So let's pop this open and see what we have inside. Wow, big piece of uh, instructional. Now this is a little bit thicker and heavier than, say, the Transformer Prime, but that's going to happen when you add, say, a quad core well, the Prime has quad-core, but definitely a high-res screen. I'm not even going to look at what's in here, probably some accessories. I just want to see what this screen looks like when turned on. See how crisp icons are. I've never seen Android in 1920 by 1200 resolution. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty thick, actually. It's about 10 millimeters thick, and you definitely feel it. Um, it's also uh, kind of hefty, but definitely lighter than, say, the iPad 3. So we've got that Full HD logo. Let's look around quickly. We've got micro USB, which is nice. Speakers should be plenty loud. We've got a power headphone jack over there. Something, I have no idea what that is. Some sort of lock, probably for screen rotation, and a microphone. Let's turn this on. I just want to see the quality of the screen right off the bat. So let's turn it on. Probably needs a little bit of a charge, but they usually ship with a little bit of battery life. So, Okay, we're back and here we are. We are in uh, ice cream sandwich here with kind of a light skin from Acer, but nothing too heavy. And I've gotten close and looked at the icons and I can say that things are quite crisp and clear. I haven't seen Android like this on a tablet. Everything looks super sharp. I can barely see pixels. I can if I look very closely, uh, but this is certainly a huge improvement over the 1280 by 800 Android tablets that are out there. And things seem to be pretty snappy. Uh, real quick, let's just jump into the web browser. We're already connected over Wi-Fi. Just want to go to a website and see what performance is like kind of at first. We've got a vibration and we've got a kind of annoying sound. I'm going to shut that off uh, for the keyboard see what performance is like. So go to the desktop site. While it's loading, let's see what screen rotation speed is like. It kind of took a sec there Just to spend some time with this to really get a sense of the performance. Hopefully it's great uh, with the Tegra 3. Scroll down. No checkerboard so far. That's good. Let's do some uh, pinch to zoom action. 
took a sec to clear up. But the text just looks super sharp. If you go all the way in, bring the camera all the way up, you really can't see pixels. I mean, it's great to see Android. It's such a high resolution display here. So we've got a lot more coming up on the Acer Iconia Tab A700. Great to see Ice Cream Sandwich Tablet running such a high resolution display uh, and quad core at that. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and there's my thumb. And thanks for watching. That's it for now.